this exhibit, um, we were thrilled when John Jonathan Sheeran contacted us asking if we would do a show because the Capital City Camera Club of Raleigh does an annual show each year downtown in Raleigh at the City of Raleigh Museum. And ironically, this year they asked us to limit our photographs to photographs about Raleigh, which gave us an opportunity here in Garner to exhibit some images that were not necessarily from Raleigh. So we have two shows going on at the same time, and I'm thrilled to say that this show is really a terrific one. It looks great. It's 28 photographers, each with one image, and we've got a real variety here. Everything from landscapes to portraits, architecture, flowers, birds, uh, and more. Well, I love it because you get instant satisfaction when you take a picture and then you go back to your um, laptop and you work on your image and, and work with it, manipulate it, and then you have a printed image and it's like rewarding to see that finished image. And it's, you know, wow, I did that. And um, I just love, I go out, when I go in the shoot, I, I see things sometimes that other people don't see. I always walk around a lot and, and search out what I'm photographing. Uh, this all started when I was at school. Um, working in a dark room, I came to realize that the process of getting a white sheet to have black spots on and develop an image was quite, quite an enthralling activity. And I've been taking photography um, for the last 20, 30, 40 years. A way of being able to express a story, it's a different way of conveying some form of emotion or some idea in a way that you can't do with words necessarily. Well, I'm an old school photographer. Originally, I was a film photographer way, way, way back when I was a young guy. And I got into photography because I couldn't draw. Uh, so I decided that maybe photography would be easier. And it was easier getting into it, but of course I discovered that there was a lot of complexity to photography itself. It's an image entitled uh, Patience. It's an image of a uh, pied kingfisher resting on a reed just before dive bombs into the stream below. Uh, to pick its meal. Uh, what's peculiar about this was the lovely background. It's got a, a very uh, smooth background, the image is well focused, and it's got this sort of triangular lining to it, which gives you uh, a compelling image that you can see, you can follow the eye of the bird into some place below. It tells a story. It tells a story of a bird that's waiting, it's perched, it's looking, it's scanning. It's a, I, I think it's a lovely picture. And it's been, it's been rewarded handsomely over the, uh, the last uh, year or so. It was taken in Botswana, in a place called the Okavango Delta. Um, and it's typically the kind of birds that we do find around that area. Wildlife doesn't, you can't have a take two in wildlife. You either get the image or you've got to wait for the next opportunity. You cannot command an elephant or a lion to come back and position itself, or a bird for that matter. Um, so it's, it takes a lot of patience and it's something that uh, pays off in the end when you get this magnificent image like this one. You can kind of take the words of Ansel Adams that, you know, it takes 10,000 images to get to know your camera well. Um, don't get discouraged, figure out how to take an image and convey how you see the world. Mm -hmm.